Hello, my name is Dr. Urquita Darwin, and I'm a board certified family physician. I want to take some time and chat with you guys about a question that I get all of the time from women. Now that question is, is there the best age to have kids? Now that question is kind of complicated because there is not one size fits all model. I want us to take some time and just think about like how the body works. People who are assigned female at birth, women, born with eggs. Now these eggs that you have are the eggs that you'll have for your entire life. You don't get any more. So you're born with all of the eggs that you will ever have. And over time, the number declines as well as the quality of the eggs. So in actuality, the best time to have kids is when you're young, like a teenager, like early 20s. But culture doesn't work that way. Like women are working jobs, they're going to school, they're focusing on their career, they're looking to get married, all of those things. So getting pregnant at the optimal time for a body isn't necessarily the best choice for your body. So you have to think about family planning. Now, as we just mentioned, the younger you are, the better it is to get pregnant. So there are women who may be in their 20s thinking about should they have a baby. There are women who are in their 30s and even 40s. And yes, you may say like, yeah, my grandma had my mom at 42. And all of these different things are true because there are outliers to everything. But on average, most women are optimized to have babies late 20s, early 30s for us. So when you're thinking about that and you're thinking about your family planning, it's very important to keep that in mind because that will help you determine if you should go and try to have conversations with your doctor about if your health is optimized to have a baby. You may have certain medical conditions that put you at risk for having a high risk pregnancy. You may have issues that may interact with your medicines and all of those kinds of things. So you wanna make sure that your health is optimized. You wanna make sure that you are taking prenatal vitamins because you should not only start the vitamins when you're pregnant. You can actually take some vitamins to help optimize your egg quality and your other things. It's very controversial, but there are is some evidence that certain medications and supplements can help when you're trying to get pregnant. So that may be something that you can discuss with your doctor and also make sure that there are no interactions with the medications that you're taking. Now, if you are thinking about you want to have a baby in the future, but not necessarily right now, because you also have to consider things like lifestyle and if you want to travel and what kind of social economic state you're in right now, those are very important things. You may want to have a discussion with your doctor in terms of your options of future family planning. So if you want to go and freeze your eggs, there are processes in which you can see a specialist called a reproductive endocrinologist, which is a type of OBGYN. And they can look at certain things like your hormones and visualize your eggs that you have and all of the things via ultrasound and can determine where you are kind of in this life cycle of fertility. There are certain numbers like your anti-malarian hormone, which can definitely show the type of egg reserve that you have, but one number doesn't give you always the whole picture, so they also look at other factors to determine if it would be a good idea for you to freeze. And for that, like if you were 32 and you're like, I don't wanna have a baby until I'm 36, you would have those eggs frozen and be able to utilize having 32 year old eggs when you're 36. That's important because as you get older, your hormone levels fluctuate and go down, especially things like your egg reserve, the AMH, and it may make it more difficult for you to conceive naturally. So you can think about cryopreservation or egg freezing or even freezing embryos where you utilize your egg and your sperm from a partner or a donor and you freeze that to have a baby when you're ready. That's something you should also talk about if you're thinking about that with your doctor because certain insurances can cover that but some don't and it can get very expensive so you may want to talk about planning finances to see if you could save to have that procedure where you are given medications and hormones in order to collect your eggs to save for your future children. There are so many different things that you must think about when you are thinking about having a baby. So it's always good to plan. So I would suggest that you 
take all of these things into consideration, what stage in life you're in, what financial place you're in, as well as how to optimize your health so that you can have the healthiest pregnancy possible because we are living in a time where maternal mortality rates are very high. So you want to set yourself up for success so that you can enjoy the baby when you have it. I hope that that answers your question and I wish you the best of luck in terms of your fertility journey. Mm -hmm.